my channel. It's Caitlin here and today I am going to sit down with you guys and film a get ready with me. Um, I'm going out tonight so I thought I would film how I did my makeup, how I did my hair and then I possibly might also film my outfit as well in this video. So as you can see right now I have no makeup on my face, my hair is pulled back and it doesn't look very attractive right now. So I'm just gonna get on and do some makeup, chat to you guys whilst I get ready and we'll just see how this video goes. So I'm gonna start off with my eyes first because I really want to make them quite dark and dramatic for this makeup look. Also I don't have my usual background for doing makeup videos out at the moment just because I have literally just finished studying and I haven't had time to set it all up again. I'm gonna start off with concealer. I've been really loving using this as a base. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pot Concealer. I'm just gonna put this all over my eyes and use this as a base. I really like using um, concealers as a base for eyeshadow because I find they are more hydrating. Normal eyeshadow primers, I find they dry out my eyelids quite a lot um, and it just is irritating because then my eyeshadow cracks and it doesn't look nice, so. I'm just gonna pop this on with my finger. I have not worn makeup in ages, so I'm sorry if it goes a bit shabby. And it also really nicely brightens up my eye as well. The palette which I'm gonna use for this tutorial is the Meat Matte palette. So I think I'm gonna make the most of these dark shades up in the corner here. But first of all, I'm just gonna set a base with this um, neutral shade here. And the brush I'm using is the F. 11 from Blank Canvas and it's really really warm outside at the moment so I have got my window open. So I'm really sorry if you can hear birds and cars and everything like that but I'm just far too warm to shut the window. Actually I look quite tanned in this light which is quite nice. So for our transition shade I'm going to be using this warm brown here. Sorry for the birds outside, they're getting even more noisy. Blend this into my crease. I am thinking of doing quite a dramatic eye look so I am going to blend this quite high up so that I have the ability to go really dark and also I'm taking this quite far in to my eye as well. So now going in with the purpley red shade in the centre I'm going to be popping this on my crease and blending it out with a little bit more of a smaller brush but it's still pretty fluffy. It is the E34 from Blank Canvas. So I'm going to keep this in my crease and blend this all the way round right into the centre as well. Um, I kind of want this eyelid to have an undertone of red but not be overpoweringly red and pink. And then on the other side... My face looks really really orange for some reason. I don't I don't know why. I am now thinking I've made this a little bit too purple. I'm kind of regretting that. I went a little bit OTT with the purple shade. Oops. So I'm now gonna go in and try resurrect it and use this dark brown shade in the crease and outer part of my eye and really darken up this look. Also, I'm not worrying about fallout if you're wondering why this is such a mess. I'm gonna wipe that up later, so. Don't worry. So as I'm doing this, I'm kind of keeping this in my crease and then winging it really far out. Now obviously this is all gonna be rubbed away, but it's just so that I can really get the line that I want and blend it as well as I can. Now I'm just going to head in and do some eyeliner. This is the Tattoo Eyeliner from Kat Von D. I'm just going to do a bit of a wing with this. Actually, we're not doing eyeliner yet. We're not doing eyeliner. Oh my gosh, so many lies. So I totally forgot about my inner corner. I'm going to be using the Stila um, eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. I'm going to pop this in my inner corner and then I will do eyeliner. Okay, sparkly stuff is done looking super sparkly. I can't believe I nearly forgot to do that step. Um, so now I'm going to do eyeliner. This is Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just going to use the edge of this white to make my flick even sharper. All I'm going to do is darken up my eyes just one last time, make them super dark, go all out. So I'm going to take my Meat Matte palette again and I'm going to go in with the black, a little bit scary, but I'm going to go in, maybe mix it with some brown actually, maybe take a mixture, and pop this on the very outer part of my eye and blend that in with my eyeliner so you kind of can't really see my eyeliner anymore. That's what look I'm going for, like it's super dark. Pop that on. My crease. No, my outer corner. And then I'm just going to take the brush which we've used previously so it might have some product left. But I'm not adding anything extra, I'm just using it to blend. Face! We gotta do our face! Oh my goodness, I've been filming for like an hour and we've not even gone to our face. So I'm gonna prime using this. This is the Mario. But Eskew, don't know how to say it, um, Rose Facial Water. I'm gonna use this first, cover my eyes so it doesn't light. This just keeps my face nice and fresh throughout the night and doesn't dry up um, because I get dry skin. Everybody gets oily on nights out and I'm the one who gets all dry and my makeup goes horrible. I've done my eyebrows as well if you guys noticed. For foundation, because I'm not 100% sure on what colour I am, honestly in this light at the moment I look quite tanned, but I promise you I'm really not that tanned. So I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match foundation and I'm going to mix these two shades. This one looks like it's going to match me, but I just don't believe that I'm this tanned. This is my fake tan shade, so I just, I just don't know what's going on. Why do I look so dark? So yeah, we'll mix these together see what happens, but it's the L'Oreal True Match, the dark one is in Golden Natural, and the lighter one is in Vanilla, and also, to make things even more exciting, I'm going to mix in some Cover FX Drops, which are just super highlighting, and give my foundation an even more glowy finish. Couple pumps of this, oh my goodness, the really runny. I'm just gonna assume that this will end up oxidising, and I'm just gonna go with it. tell you what I don't love is doing my eyebrows first and then having to go round them. For concealer I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. I have not used this concealer in so long. I totally forgot how good it was. The only thing about it is it's just quite heavy um, and I'm always scared to use it but I just... It's so good. To set this, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to take the flat end of my beauty blender. So I've currently been using the top end to do my foundation and I'm going to flip it and use this bit to do powder. I like this flat end because you can go right up to your eyeliner without mucking it all up. So I'm just going to leave this on for a little bit, apologies for looking actually insane, but I'm going to leave this on and whilst I am letting that bake, I'm going to do a bit of bronzer. I'm going to take the Rimmel Shimmer Sun Bronzer and firstly just bronze up my face. This is quite light so it just sets kind of a base for my contour so that it doesn't look too muddy. Then I'm going to go in with the Sleek Face Contour Kit and this is pretty dark, as you can see it's a little bit extreme, but I'm going to use a light hand and just very lightly contour with this dark shade here. Okay, I'm just going to just this way. I'm also just taking a little bit of the light bronzer and just popping this down my nose. Highlight is going to be this one by Laura Geller. This is Glided Honey and it's super pretty. And I'm just going to pop this 
on my usual highlight areas. I'm now just going to take a little tiny bit of blusher just to tie these two together so they don't look too extreme. Um, I'm going to take the Revolution blusher palette and I'm going to take a combination of this blusher here with this blusher here I think. I think I'm going to mix these two together. Now I'm just going to grab a combination of these three shades here and run them underneath my eyes to finish off my eyes. And I'm just going to add some liner as well. This one is AM to PM by Lottie. I've not actually used this one yet, so we shall see. <gasps> this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, new favourite eyeliner. You know those eyeliners that rub off on your waterline because your waterline's far too watery? This is the answer to all your prayers. Whoa! Okay, I'm just going to go away and do eyelashes. The eyelashes which I'm going to use are by Pinky Goats and they are the Ruba lashes. And they look like this. They are super super dramatic and I'm gonna pop these on and I'll also do some mascara while I'm at it as well. I'll see you in a minute. So to finish off my lips I'm firstly gonna take the L'Oreal Color Riche in the shade 231. I'm gonna take a lip liner from NYX. This is the shade, what shade is this? Mauve and I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit with this. So we have finally finished makeup. I feel like I've been doing my makeup for hours now. I'm now going to move on and do my hair because it's currently up looking like a giant poo on the top of my head. So I'm going to take it down. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I thought I was going to curl it but really I can't be bothered because I've currently been getting ready for so so long. So I'm thinking I'm just going to straighten it. Right let's take this down. Mm. What should we do with this? Okay, so the hairstyle which I'm going to go for is super super easy. Straighten my hair like so, pop my hair in the middle parting as I've already done, and then I'm going to grab a hair tie. I'm actually going to change this one so that it's a blonde one. So I've got a blonde one, and then I'm going to grab my teasing comb. I'm going to take the back section of my hair, this section here, and I'm going to tease this section just a little bit so we get a little bit of volume, and then I will tie it all back. And then all I'm going to do is just tie my hair up in a low-ish ponytail. I just pull the front as well so that it's not so slick back. So guys, this is the completed makeup look and hairstyle. I might post a photo on my Instagram of my outfit so if you're interested then head over to my Instagram, send me some love check out my outfit on there and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this get ready with me. If you did then feel free to leave a thumbs up and if you want to have a chat with me in the comments then feel free to leave a comment down, down there and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>